Welcome to ACW Brothers vs. Brother Mod for Empire Total War. In this Let's Play, we'll be playing as the United States of America or the Union States or the North, whichever one you want to call it. In this Let's Play, we will be trying to achieve the ability to conquer the entire South and rejoin them back into the Union or die trying. This Let's Play 1 as a regimental vote. Uh, do not worry then, a confederate campaign will come out as soon as this one is over. I will be playing on hard difficulty because very hard is too hard for me. Um, uh, it will be 60 minutes time. I play on ultra sized units so we'll be seeing some big units. So for those of you who want to read this, I'll let you guys read this. Alright, there's one. Just pause the video. When you want to read it, it's two, three, four, and the last one right there. Alright, just pause the video through all that to watch it, and uh, let's get started. We've got no time to waste. You must win the Civil War. Right? And this is the third time, and this time I got it right. My tutorial on how to do so, let me know. I do have one replay that I have saved from fighting with someone else and put that up. I'm putting a playlist for Total War Multiplayer or whatever, and you can watch it in there. I was on there like 45th Indiana or 7th Maryland or give me random names like that and I'll put them in, don't worry. Because right now, all I'll say is like, 13th Regiment of Foot, Wisconsin, 17th Wisconsin Volunteers, the Civil War, instead of being Empire Total War. So just leave in the comment section below the names you want, and, it's, well, the names are going to have to be first come, first serve, because in, in this mod, before either they put on it, because, all Empire, you can recruit as much line infantry as you want, but in this game, mod, Volunteers, and... Kinetic ears and Rhode Island volunteers, like actually since I'm in I'll show you. See I can get Vermont, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut volunteers, and Delaware. This one only gives me Pennsylvanian units. Maine I believe I can get yeah. Fine. Alright, so, really, not that much to offer here, but, uh, welcome to this, uh, ECW campaign. I'm going to be playing it as the Union actually did with the Anaconda plan, so I'm going to choke out their port, so let me get my navies together really quickly. And, uh, put them all down here. I'm not going to attack the Confederacy to, like... April, so about five or six turns in, just for the fact of so they can build armies for me to actually fight, because, you know, that's not fun if you're just fighting armies I can't fight, that's just terrible. Alright, so, and then I got them grouped up. Let's see. I'm going to leave... Well, I can recruit one more of these, so I'm going to send this, this, and this. The this because this harbor is about to be created, and when it does, I'm going to blo blockade it with something, which will be this. Then I'll take first rate. First rate, second rate, and first rate, and this. I'll send it on down to Georgia. I know there's a look. There's one building here, so I'm gonna take a second rate and two third rates. And I'm gonna send them all the way out to here. And then this group 
It's gonna come all the way over to here. So what's basically gonna happen is as soon as the war breaks out, I can just instantly clamp down the ports and just rape them. Their con their economy's gonna get tanked by it, and yeah. So let's see here. I'm gonna build all the minor things first. Ooh, a gold mine, that'll be wonderful. Cotton is king, I believe, so get some cotton. Almost got it. Alright, so we're basically able to upgrade every minor improvement but this uh, fur shop. So that's good. Let's see here. So we have an army basically built up here. Uh, so I'm going to send this cavalry out here. And what's in here? Two units of red legged devils. I'll send them all the way down to DC. I'll send you guys to DC. And you. I'm just going to draw my forces together. What's up in. No, that's just state militia. What's here? Marine Corps. Definitely. Do I have like a 20th? No, I don't. Can I get the 20th main? I'm not sure. What does this get me? 20th main, main volunteers, and this does not. So I'm just going to go for this next turn. Diplomacy, let's see what I'm trading with. Can I, uh, I think this is something about there was something glitched. Yeah, missing string, so I guess I'm just gonna get some trade with the Confederacy until war breaks loose. Let's see my projected income next turn. Eleven thousand. I get three thousand forty five three three thousand six hundred and forty five from the Confederacy. And that's it, it doesn't show me what I get from uh, America. Uh, in Britain, I should say. My bad. Kentucky, Kansas, and West New York? No. What do you think I'm insane? One place where a lot of fighting is going to take place is out west in Kentucky. So I'm going to need to fortify those regions. So next turn I'm going to fortify the west and then the east because not that many units spawn in the west so two armies in the west probably would do. I need to build armies quickly because the minute the confederacy declares war I'm going to be screwed because I won't have men to fight them. Alright, so what can we recruit here? Kansas volunteers. Up here we can recruit 
Minnesota Volunteers get two of you and two Iowa Volunteers. Now, how many can I get? Three. I'll get all three of you then. And one of you, one of you. There's all my money pissed away, so. Oops. Ooh, regular infantry. I'm gonna leave them there for now because that public order does not look great. I'm gonna leave that cavalry there because that does not look great either. And get some uh, better places built. Headlines The South creates a government. Robert E. Lee, Confederate Civil Service. Okay. So we're right now in late February. So, oh, my, my navy's right. Right. Keep going all the way out there. And you do the same thing. There we go. So next turn, next turn we'll figure out. Oh uh, shit! Hold on. All right. So next turn, I guess we're gonna figure out what kind of armies they have. Alright, so they got a navy in here. A uh, fourth rate and a third rate. What's in here? Alright, so if anything comes in, I got a first rate to defeat them, so. They'll have to send out that stupid stuff. Who's their general? Like their, I mean their admiral. So let me see. Oh, they need recruit. Yeah, one of the things is trading ports are the only thing that give you um, like navies. Let's see, mortar schooner. I can't wait to start using ironclads. Oh, I can use an ironclad. I can wreck everything. And nothing's gonna stop me. I'm just gonna like grab everything, get it together, and then sort it out later. Do I have any like, armies out here? Or, yeah, six pounder cannon. You know, what, I'm gonna send that down to uh, Kentucky. And what's in here? State militia. There are currently no troops. Yeah, I get it. I get there's nothing there. Oh, I forgot St. Louis even had people in it. Illinois got nothing to back them up. Alright, so my first tactics are going to be build an army in Iowa, move it into Kansas, and take out Texas. Then I want to get an army built in Missouri and charge Jackson, uh, Mississippi, and Louisiana. So if I take out um, West Texas, which is like the biggest city out here. Louisiana and Jacksonville, uh, or Jackson, Mississippi, I should say. The only recruit, like big recruitment hub they have left is Virginia. So I just gotta, if I can, can if I really, if this army in St. Louis does what I want them to do and cuts the Confederacy in half, I win. Because so I control both of these regions, they can't reinforce that being attacked, and I just gotta invade from Kentucky and I'm set but words are better said than done as a wise man once said let me just check my time real quick alright if, if my voice doesn't sound really good I have my nose is stuffy so alright Slavery in the slave states. 
Uncle Tom's Cabin. This, yeah, this is going out of Kentucky. United States of Columbia. Alright, something happened there. And yeah, Mexico has its own civil war going on right now with Emperor Maximilian and stuff. Alright, so now I have all this money and it's going to be focused on armies. Alright, so like I said, I'm building an army out west first. So, what do we got going on out here? Six pounder, regular infantry, some cavalry. Alright, so I'm gonna appoint. I guess I'm gonna appoint Burnside as my general, right? Alright, so I'll point, no, I'll point Hancock as general out here. See, St. Louis, what kind of army you got? He needs infantry and lots of it. Alright. Some Missouri volunteers. How many can I make? Eight. Dear Lord, get one of you. So right here, <laughs> Missouri volunteers gave me all I needed. Like this one city alone gives me all I need for an army. I mean, I, look, I got two of these guys, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten line infantry. That's half an army. Get two of these guys skirmishers. Probably get maybe uh, two more cavalry. This this cavalry right here. All right. So then it'll make uh shit. 14, 16, 17, yeah, all, like, just this right here, Missouri Volunteers sums it up, wait, can I get, oh uh, yeah, I can get Iowa Volunteers out here, alright, so, yeah, Missouri set, now can I get, like, Chicago Volunteers, or Illinois Volunteers and Wisconsin Volunteers, alright, so, that, these men right here are just Back up all my armies. Can I get Kentucky volunteers? Yes, I can. I can get Michigan and Kentucky volunteers. Can I get Ohio volunteers? Indiana, Ohio. Alright, so, yeah, alright. That's, that's actually pretty nice to know. Alright, so, yeah, they got navies down south too. Don't, that that's not going to generate any trade. That's terrible. <laughs> it's basically Florida and Louis it's like Alabama and Louisiana trading with each other. All right, so I don't think these are going to be big navies, so these will be easy to conquer. And in two turns, I'll have armies ready to go and fight. And, but I need to have my guys ready to strike on the border faster than their guys can. Because that, that, I don't know what that army's got in it, but that might need to be something I'm going to look at this turn. And England owns this part of the United States, which is something I don't get, but oh well. Lincoln gets inaugurated. Johnny Rev and Billy Yank. 
Iowa, Minnesota Volunteers. Alright. Let's see. Wait, what would this give me? Iron Brigade, Lightning Brigade. Yeah, if the Lightning Brigade is like a rapid fire unit, which is how they got their name. Alright, see. I think, let's see. Right, Regional Command. United States Marine Corps. What does the barracks give me? I'm just gonna get it anyways. Uh, don't. What does this give me? So I can't get Nebraska volunteers from Nebraska. That's weird. But I can get Kansas volunteers, so I can get three of those. So Kansas volunteers. Well, actually, that needs to stay in there for a while and help out the unrest here. Let's see. So when I'm gonna invade, I gotta send my army right here. So I need before I go to invade and get them right here on this crossing. And as soon as I can invade, I can take uh, Upper Texas and go in through there. Because if I see here, there's not a single army here. And uh. The one thing I'm going to need to make is a telegraph post, and I can make one. For the fact of telegraph post will spread my uh, unionism so that there's less unrest, so that'll be great. Alright, let's start getting the army together. Oh my god, my allergies are killing me. Alright, so. We got another uh, group of people being built up over here in DC. Richmond is going to be a high city that I'm going to capture, but it's going to be a costly city to capture because. An evil battery surrounds the city and pressure with a ring of star for its protecting from assault. What the heck? 96 turns. Jesus. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got here. So we got ordnance rifle, a 6 pound cannon. Compared to the ordnance rifle, this, this cannon is going to do sh nothing. And because it's going to do nothing, I'm going to send it over here to Kentucky. What do we got here? 12 pounder, 12 pounder. Alright, this house doesn't look like it does anything. In 500, that's less than 6 pounder. I don't want that in this army. So, 1100 range. Oh, let me mute my mic really quickly.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Alright, so 1861 attack on Fort Sumter, Union call to arms. Alright, this is when this is when I'm gonna have to start declaring war soon. Yeah, I never did build that, so I should. Twelve thousand from what, like like I said, all those tiny constructions put together got me a lot. How much would that give me? 1,200. But minus one happiness in this region. Alright. Holy shit. Look at the amount of men I can get here. 69th New York. Jesus Christ. New York Volunteers. See what kind of stuff do they got going on? One unit of regular infantry, regular cavalry, VMI cadets. All right, so they they're building some pretty decisive units out here. Let's see what is this? Alright, so let's see. Uh, I want a general, and that general is going to be the historical man with a plan, McClellan. I want three of those, and I can get six of those. Alright, so I'm going to get two of these. Some of you, and one of you. Because my army out here needs some. Need some Really, what it needs right now, like, it, I think it can need one more unit of cavalry, it can need, like, two more units of cannons, and the rest of the infantry, and one general, and we'll be set. Next turn, I got to, um, get some Kentucky volunteers down here. What do they got going over here? Florida Cavalry. So, they've been moving units all the way out from Florida. Line of uh, Garrison Volunteers. Barely trained. Oh, yeah, they're gonna, they'll probably wear out quickly. Yeah, 7 morale. That's not good. And, yeah. Also, I want to take a look over here. Napoleon Grays, Washington Artillery, and 6 Regiment of Militia, and their navies here are 3rd rate and 4th rate, and 2 3rd rates. Yes, sir. Well, I have a 2nd rate, 2 3rd rates, and the same for here, so I outnumber them already in Navy, so I've got their ports on lockdown. How are these guys doing? Next turn, I'll be able to stabilize that. They're going unhappy. And how about you? Can I still, I can, I still can't get Nebraska volunteers. What's going on here? All right, I guess I'm gonna turn again. Let me just check the time I got. I hope by Wednesday I can at least get two videos of this uploaded. So, yeah. So if you hear that, I was just cracking my knuckles. I shouldn't be doing it, but I'm doing it anyways. Like, what I don't like about the AI is they never really build, like, a full army. Like, they just sit there and just, like, clump some units together and that's it. Like, that army in Missouri, that, that is gonna, that's, I think that's my biggest army that I have right now. Holy crap. And 
the, and the thing is like there's so many units you can get in this game it's not even funny I can make two like so many armies right now but I don't have to because my economy is gonna get tanked about I need to start capping regions soon Robert E. Lee is given uh, he was given a uh, supreme command Kansas volunteers alright alright so these guys are now stabilized I'm gonna get one more use so I'm gonna do it and construct a better thing here alright does this give me my Nebraska volunteers US Union Californian volunteers what do you give me? Give me nothing. How is that? I can get California volunteers from there, right? But I can't get any, like, um. Shit, how do I say it? I can't get any volunteers from, uh. Fuck. Nebraska, there we go. I couldn't even think of it. Alright, so, light horse artillery, and one of you, I have, so I have two more of these, recruited in Pennsylvania, and I already have, I have one of you being recruited, so, now I'm recruiting another one of you, and, I, wait, do I already have a general out here? No, I do not. So, oh, I know he'll be created next turn. So, what to give you? What's the difference? I'm gonna give you some Videt cavalry, and I guess you're set. Let's see, what do I have up here? I don't know, they look important, so. So, what I have down here is a shit ton of you. I'm a. Uh, hold on, shit. What can I get? So, I can't recruit any artillery over here. And I can't recruit any here. Or any here, really. Alright, so I'm going to have to send artillery from here over here. Because I'm not sending this army out with no artillery. It needs artillery support. That that would be deadly. And I still didn't save up any money to build forces here. Such an idiot. Alright. Alright. Looking good. No recruits coming out of here. None out of here. So I can recruit Ohio infantry in West New York. No, I'm good. The heck is a Thakur's court? Alright. And the turn again. Alright, so in Jackson, Mississippi, they got a general. Is that my government? How, how do I check my government? Ministers, minus on the town watch, one plus repression across the unit, one plus maximum bonus to town watch. Secretary of War, zero plus recruitment cost, zero. Okay, he's good. Plus Navy, plus wealth. No, I'm kicking him out. Fuck. 
Alright, so next turn I gotta uh, kick that guy out. Cause now I'm I probably just I'm gonna lose a ton of money. Hey, how the heck do I just gain money? I just gained twelve thousand for some apparent reason. What? What the heck just happened? Oh yeah, cause I just freshly ended the turn, right? I hear something in the, in the background. It's my commander asking me for something on my team speak. Then I'm one. All right, there we go. Kentucky should be um should be able to hold its own now. And turn. Next turn, my car is gonna be tanking, but I'm gonna kick that guy out. I wish I could find like a guy who would give me like 10 plus on everything, so I could be rich. Like 50k per turn. Like if I had 50k per turn, I would have so much money left over. I would probably just start like buying territories from like the Confederacy or some shit. Just kidding, no, I, I'm fighting for it all. I ain't accepting peace treaties, military alliances from the Confederacy. They're just gonna get tanked by my armies. They're superior. When, I'm not gonna declare war, like, as a union, you, the war doesn't break out to you declare war. As a Confederacy, war breaks out when the union declares war. So, as a confederacy, you're at the mercy of the Union when war starts. As a Union, the confederacy is at the mercy of you when the war starts. Though, that army in Tennessee is not looking good, so I gotta give it ten turns, maybe. Well, all you're gonna see right now is just me building my armies up. And, pretty sure, alright, I'm gonna end, this is gonna be the last turn. I wish I wasn't Dixie. That that's a brilliant song. Actually, I love that song. All right. I kick him out, and I grew nowhere, nowhere at all. Okay. Well. Yeah, then nothing, I guess. Alright, uh, yeah, as you see up there, I got a event for Mountain Blade to go to soon. Which is why I'm going to be wrapping up this video pretty in a uh, short amount of time here. Alright, so this piece of horse artillery is done. I'm gonna, it's going to be sent all the way out to... These guys get sent out to here. Oop, sorry about that. Hear that in the background, that's my timer ending. Like I said at the end of this turn. How much money does that give me? Seven, 1,750. Dear Jesus and Mary and Joseph. I don't recruit now, nothing up here. So, are these guys taking a turn for the better? They are. Alright, good. And as soon as my economy gets back on track, well, as soon as these guys get back on track, they're going to be sent straight up to um, Sioux Falls, where the rest of the army is. So, next turn of general will be made. Let's see, I'm going to get... Hmm. One more U and... I think that I think that could be a good amount. That's that's all I think you're gonna need, really, from um, stuff like that. What else can wait? Why can't I recruit Iowa volunteers? Three out of three recruited. Two out of two recruited. I mean, all the Iowa volunteers get recruited down here. You know what they did? Did they? No, they did. So. 
three out of three. There they are. Alright, so I guess all my regular infantry is being recruited out west here. Well, actually, no, because I can just funnel from these two cities, so if I need to, Chicago can send volunteers out. There we go, that should look fine. When do I get a... Am I recruiting a commander out here? No, so I'm recruit a commander over here. And their commander will be... George Meade. Yep, George Meade will do. George Meade will be their general. So that will be one slot open. A light artillery pieces coming down light horse artillery pieces coming down here and then I have two sharpshooters and one American swabs so leave one two three four five slots open for four more uh, like two more cavalry some more infantry so they'll probably send some Chicago volunteers down there so There's my summary of what's going on for next episode. Ooh, looking good, Irish Brigade. No Sexy Irish Brigade. Mm. Moving. Awaiting instructions. What do you say is I need to start building roads? Like, next turn I'll build some roads out west. Or, or please... <laughs> Place I need the roads, I should mean. Sorry about that. So, uh, hope you liked that video, uh, or this video, I should say. If you like it, please comment on what regimental name should be. <laughs> Alright, real quick. <coughs> I'm so sorry about that. As I said, my allergies are killing me right now. So, as I said, we've got. All this Missouri volunteers, you want me to give them names, I, I can. Don't worry about that. Uh, so, do tell them in the comment section below what you want their names to be. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, please do comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will uh, see you guys later. So, please stay tuned in for episode 2. I'll be coming right at you soon, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.